Hello everyone, so in this video we will be uh, seeing how to do logistic regression in jump. So until now I have shown uh, simple linear regression uh, which is usually used when you are uh, continuous, you have a response variable y which is continuous and it is based on a single continuous predictor variable x1. And also I have shown multiple linear regression where your uh, output response is continuous and you have multiple uh, continuous uh, variables, categorical variables or a mixture of both. In the case of logistic regression, the difference is your response variable y is a categorical variable. And uh, it can be based on, uh, it can have uh, both continuous predictors as well as categorical predictors. So basically when it comes to categorical predictors, they can be of two types. Uh, they can be either nominal which is unordered category and ordinal which is cat ordered categories and uh, mathematically when we are doing logistic regression what we do is uh, we try to predict the probability among the different cat category categories of these variables for example if you have a response category which has you know s and no then using logistic regression you try to determine the probability of yes probability of no depending on which is the which which has the highest value you uh, assign uh, the category to that particular response for example uh, if you are uh, working in an industry and if you are trying to determine if a part is defective then is a two level category it can be either yes or no or if you are taking a test for covid it can be either positive or negative so this is what you do in logistic regression so basically when it comes to uh, doing the fitting in logistic regression as you know uh, when you are doing the linear regression uh, you assume that your response is uh, a continuous variable of this equation as shown here but uh, in the case of logistic regression we, as I mentioned before we are trying to determine the probability and when it comes to probability we know that uh, the value for uh, probability can be between 0 and 1 so you cannot use a linear equation of this form because when you use a linear equation of this form they can be uh, a value uh, that is less than 0 or greater than 1 and so the values cannot be constrained between 0 and 1 so in this case uh, what we do is we start with the odds odds is uh, uh, the odd odds is actually the ratio between uh, a value uh, favoring any uh, favoring an event to the uh, odds uh, not favoring the event which is uh, p of an event divided by 1 minus p of the event so when you take odds for an event you can take log of these odds and this log of these odds can actually be uh, defined uh, mathematically as a linear model and uh, so once you have such an equation you can actually rearrange and uh, so this equation kind of becomes as shown here and uh, so p is uh, the probability uh, which is something that you are trying to determine and if we have uh, uh, a, if, you, if your p or a logistic regression is dependent on just one uh, variable then the equation b of this form and this equation uh, uh, can be represented in the form graphically as this as a curve shown here and this is called as the logistic curve so this is what we'll be using uh, in uh, in order to predict the response of uh, variables so now let me switch over to jump to see how to do this logistic uh, regression so here uh, I have the thickness uh, data that I've been using in my previous videos but here I have this outcome uh, variable which is a two level uh, categorical variable so I am interested in uh, seeing how the outcome of this uh, uh, outcome of the thickness uh, depends on humidity and so basically here the outcome was uh, de basically determined by a formula so here the formula is uh, a conditional statement where if your thickness is greater than 9.5 then it is considered a fail else it is a pass so I am interested in knowing how the humidity affects the outcome of the thickness. So in order to do the logistic regression, I open the uh, fit y by x menu from uh, analyze menu. And uh, here uh, I choose outcome as my y response, humidity as my x factor. Here you can see that uh, by default uh, jump says it will plot a logistic curve and uh, the target 
level here is uh, uh, either pass or fail because we have as we as we as I mentioned before your y response is a two level categorical variable so here uh, we are interested in knowing the target level fail because we are trying to determine the probability of fail so you choose fail and then say okay jump automatically does the logistic regression so here you can see the uh, logistic curve and so all the dots or points uh, above the uh, logistic curve are passed and everything below are fail and uh, here uh, uh, by default uh, jump shows uh, uh, various uh, uh, statistics so under the parameter estimates you have the uh, the intercept value and the humidity value and uh, so these are uh, nothing but as I showed in my uh, previous uh, video so here uh, the intercept and uh, c1 c0 and c1 are the values so uh, so the c0 is uh, minus 207.78 c1 is 3.59 here uh, since c1 has a positive value this means that uh, you have a positively sloped logistic curve and under uh, fit details you have something very important it's called as the misclassification rate which has a value of 0 0.14 what this means is uh, your logistic model that you have built uh, misclassifies 14 percent of the times or if you classify uh, a hundred times if you use this model hundred times then 14 percent or 14 times uh, this model will wrongly classify the values that you are trying to predict and under the whole model uh, as usual you have the probability greater than chi-square uh, which has a value of uh, less than 0 0.05 which means this model is significant and uh, so yeah this basically introduces logistic regression uh, but yeah later on uh, we'll see if we can build a more complex model uh, by doing uh, by doing logistic regression with multiple predictor values and uh, trying to see if we can uh, reduce this uh, misclassification rate.